Namaste. India was a world guru and has made world's largest contributions in the field of science and technology. Civil engineering in ancient India was known as Thapattikala and term Vastu originally derived from the root word Vas meaning to dwell or a dwelling place. Art of architecture and construction in ancient Indian texts is called Vastu Vidya. Marvelous monuments in India are examples of Vastu Vidya which represent its advanced architectural and constructional techniques. Methodology of construction of these monuments represents harmony of structure with environment, rituals and lifestyle of people of India. The details of Vastu had been rigorously dealt across various ancient treatises like Vishwakarma's Vastu Shastra, Rishi Prabhu's Prabhu Sahita, Maya Mattam, said to be written by sage Maya Muni, Samrang Sutradhara of Bhojadev and Aprajit Prach. These technical treatises contain elaborate descriptions on the aspects of architecture and engineering. Entire universe, including our body, is composed of five basic elements, air, earth, fire, space and water, called Panch Mahabhut. The main principle of Vastu is to maintain the balance between dwelling structure and the elements of universe for happiness and comfort. Vastu is the science of direction that combines all the five elements of nature and balances them with the man and the material. This is how the arrangement of Panch Mahabhut with respect to cardinal directions has been done on a map. There are five basic principles on which the great edifice of the Vastu science of architecture stands. First is Bhu Pariksha which means examination and selection of site. It is unique method of testing the site before it is selected for the construction. The soil has to be examined for its shape, contour, order, color, taste and touch. Second is Tik Nirunaya that is orientation. According to Indian texts of architecture, the cardinal directions hold a particular significance. The various associations are given to the eight cardinal directions. Main aim in orientation principles of Vastu Shastra is setting of structure and its components in such a way that they may get maximum benefits from solar energy and wind. These directions are north, northeast which is known as Ishan, East, Southeast known as Agni, South, Southwest known as Nairuti, West and Northwest known as Vayavya. Third is Vastu Purush Mandal known as Padvinyas, which means planning of various components. It constitutes mathematical and diagrammatic basis for generating design. Purush refers to energy, power, soul or cosmic man. Mandal is the generic name for any plan or chart which symbolically represents the cosmos. Padvanyas is the process in which the site is divided into various numbers of squares. The number of squares varies from single square 1 into 1 grid to 32 into 32 1084 squares depending upon type of construction where each square is referred to be as Pad. Most common mandal is where deities are assigned to the divided squares and are named after the deity assigned. It defines stable structural grid for construction. This is the diagram of Vastu Purush mandal and is divided into 9 into 9 equals 81 parts. The position of the 45 gods who are holding down the Vastu Purush are shown. 32 are in the external enclosures and 13 are in the internal enclosures. These symbolic gods rule various aspects of life and have certain inherent qualities. Fourth is proportion and measurement of building known as Man and Ayadi. Man prescribes the proportionate measurements. The measurements are divided into categories such as measurement of height, breadth, width of circumference, measurement along plumb lines, measurement of thickness and measurement of internal space. Ayadi principles are useful for calculating proportion and scale of different components, principles of ratio of breadth and length, height and length, etc. And the fifth is Bhulambhman or 
chand which is the aesthetics of the building these principles are based on movement of celestial elements like planets sun moon and their effects on environment velocity and direction of wind rainfall volume and intensity and characteristic of soil these principles are also derived on the basis of special characteristics and influences of elements of universe such as the magnetic field gravitational effect of earth and galaxies in sky light and heat of the sun etc it reflects indian philosophy of life and interrelationship between human and environment before i take you to a journey of ancient indian architecture let me tell you that even prior to marvelous ancient indian architecture marvels of architectural knowledge of indians can be witnessed even in the prehistoric sites of indus valley civilization please check my next video to know the architectural marvels of indus valley civilization if you want to know more about science in ancient india or scientists of ancient india and other such subjects please check the playlist science in ancient india and scientists of ancient india if you have liked the video please do not forget to like share and subscribe thank you